In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Good morning and welcome as we gather here to celebrate our Mass. Today, although it's a weekday and green vestments, there's an optional feast of, or memoria, of St. Augustine of Canterbury. And me being from England and Augustine going to England, uh, I thought we'd celebrate Augustine of Canterbury. But as we gather together, we pause for a few moments and we ask the Lord's pardon for the times we may have failed, either in thought, word, or deed. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen it in holiness. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who by the preaching of the Bishop St. Augustine of Canterbury led the English peoples to the gospel, grant we pray that the fruits of his labours may remain ever abundant in your church. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. A reading from the book of Sirach. Now will I recall God's works. What I have seen, I will describe. At God's words were his works brought into being. They do his will as he has ordained for them, as the rising sun is clear to all. So the glory of the Lord fills all his works. Yet even God's holy ones must fail in recounting the wonders of the Lord. Though God has given these, his hosts, the strength to stand firm before his glory, he plumbs the depths and penetrates the heart. Their innermost being he understands. The Most High possesses all knowledge and sees from from of old the things that are to come. He makes known the past and the future and reveals the deepest secrets. No understanding does he lack. No single thing escapes him. Perennial is his almighty wisdom. He is from all eternity one and the same, with nothing added nothing taken away, no need of a counselor for him. How beautiful are all his works, even to the spark and fleeting vision. The universe lives and abides forever. To meet each need, each creature is preserved. All of them differ one from another, yet none of them he ha has he made in vain. For each in turn, as it comes, is good. Can one ever see enough of their splendor? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. By the, by the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. By the, by the word, word of the, the Lord, Lord, the heavens, heavens were made. made. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With the ten-stringed lyre, chant his praises. Sing to him a new song. Pluck the strings skillfully with shouts of gladness. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. For upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. By the word of the Lord, 
the heavens were made. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. By the breath of his mouth, all their host. He gathers the waters of the sea as in a flask. In cellars he confines the deep. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. Let all the earth fear, fear the Lord. Let all who dwell in the world revere him. For he spoke, and it was made. He commanded, and it stood forth. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As Jesus was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a sizable crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind man, the son of Timaeus, sat by the roadside begging. On hearing that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept, out, uh, kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him. So they called the blind man, saying to him, Take courage, get up, Jesus is calling you. He threw aside his cloak, sprang up, and came to Jesus. Jesus said to him in reply, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man replied to him, Master, I want to see Jesus told him, Go your way, your faith has saved you. Immediately he received his sight and followed him on the way. The Gospel of the Lord. This week we've been hearing first readings from some of them from the book of Sirach. And the book of Sirach is part of the wisdom literature of the Old Testament. My scripture professor in Rome said really there's like three parts of the Old Testament. There's the books of the law, the Pentateuch and all those kind of things. There's the books of the prophets and the books of wisdom. And the books of wisdom were written maybe 400 B.C. Uh, down to towards the time of Christ. And in that period, there was the, the influence was coming more intellectually from Greece and things like that. And the writer, some of the wisdom literature is like and Proverbs and so on, are almost instructions for a parent towards their children as to how to grow up and, you know, how to live out your life. But today's reading was kind of a reflection on God and, you know, thinking, you know, we're two, two and a half thousand years later and, you know, our view of the world would be slightly different from somebody at the time of Ben Sarek. And, but, you know, the whole thing is that it's the, the beauty of creation and that it's God who created the world and uh, God who keeps everything in being. I think of this when, you know, when I was in Houston, one of my, uh, the parishioners there, he, uh, Steve Smith, he went up uh, uh, with a space shuttle to fix the Hubble telescope. And, you know, some of the pictures we have of all the stars in the universe are so, are so wonderful and beautiful, but you, we think about the mystery of God and the, the mystery of the universe around us and how are all things kept in being but also as to how we each of us have a duty towards the care of creation God's creation we are here on it, this earth and how do we use the gifts that God has given us to you know keep the world in being and preserve it for 
for, for future generations. And then thinking of the gospel, we saw Bartimaeus there, blind man, but he hears Jesus going by, asks what's the, all the commotion about, and they say it's Jesus. And, he, uh, and Jesus spots, hears that he's calling to him, and uh, Bartimaeus has that encounter with Jesus. And because Bartimaeus had faith in Jesus, he is cured. He couldn't see Jesus, but he'd heard the stories and he'd heard and he believed. We haven't seen Christ. We haven't walked the streets of Galilee uh, or the streets of Israel like with Jesus. But we are here because we believe, because the faith has been handed on to us. And that leads me to faith being handed on. Uh, the opening prayer about Augustine of Canterbury spoke about him uh, what happened was Pope Gregory uh, in Rome was uh, going round and saw some slaves with uh, blondish hair. Um, not that I have any hair, but anyway. And it was asked, who, who are these? And um, somebody is meant to have said, well, they're Angles, people from England. And he is meant to have then thought, well, that they should they should realize that they should know about the gospel as well. So he sent uh, Augustine with about 40 other monks. Augustine was a Benedictine monk and went, sent him across to, to England. Um, and he went to Kent, the southeast portion of England, and there um, the king that was there, the rule of the area there, uh, was Ethelbert and uh, Augustine converted him to Christianity. And then a lot of the people from that area converted to Christianity. And then they built a church there. And then um, he was made Bishop of Canterbury. So he was the first Bishop and now of Canterbury. And the Church of England, uh, that is the, the main there's two archbishops in England, uh, Anglican archbishops, one of Canterbury and the other of York, the south and the north. But uh, there's always been a, a cathedral there and uh, the faith grew from there and went out from there. Um, later on, there was a famous other bishop in 1170 who, was put, uh, who died, um, Thomas Becket of Canterbury. And I remember being the seven, the eight, eighth centenary of Becket's death, we had a Catholic mass outside in the, of the cathedral um, to ce celebrate his death. But, you know, if we think that from those beginnings of the Pope seeing some, some slaves in Rome and from then decided to send missionaries out, came to England and from there, the faith has lived in England. And so pray for the people of England today and also pray that we might each be people of the gospel who carry the message of Christ to others, that we have faith in Christ and that we have faith in God, the beauty of creation, and that we try to keep all things in being because God created all things and we are here and he gives us all these gifts that we can use and we have to use them for the greater glory of God. And now, again, with God's confidence in God's mercy and love, we present our needs and the needs of our nation, the needs of the world, to our loving God. For the church and all her ministers, that they may bring God's love to the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear him. For our nation and our community, that we be committed to bring peace and justice into the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our world, as we continue to deal with the COVID-19, that all who are affected by the virus be granted comfort and strength. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Brian and Melissa Varghese on their anniversary, 
whom we remember in a special way during this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the parish prayer line, the intentions in the parish prayer boxes, and our own special intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious, loving God, we ask you to listen to our prayers, all those spoken out loud, and all the intentions we bring before you today. We bring them, we make them all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which others given in human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. And by the mystery of this water and wine, we become to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and white of human hands. It will become a spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that this sacrifice, which is yours and mine, may be acceptable to Almighty God. Look upon these sacrificial gifts we offer, Almighty God, on this feast of St. Augustine of Canterbury, and grant that we who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's Passion may imitate what we now do. Through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father of mercies and faithful God. For you have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners. And he became a neighbour to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed he announced to the world that you are our Father and that you care for all your sons and daughters. And so with all the angels and the saints we exalt and bless your name and sing the hymn of your glory as without end we now acclaim. Holy Holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. And you are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. And when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask you to send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ your Son, our Saviour, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the worthy of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favour on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love we may be counted now until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis our Pope and Frank our Bishop, with all bishops, priests and deacons, and the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters. Inspire in us words and actions to comfort those who labour and are burdened. And may us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. And remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection and give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when an earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Apostles and Martyrs, with St. Augustine of Canterbury, St. Michael the Archangel, and with all the saints we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. And through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. And together we pray for the coming of the kingdom, as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the deed. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. We share a gesture of peace with those nearby. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be.
Body of Christ. The Body of Christ. The Body of Christ. The Body of Christ. The Body of Christ. Let us pray. By the power of this mystery, O Lord, confirm your servants in the true faith, that they may everywhere profess in word and deed the faith which, which St. Augustine of Canterbury never ceased to labour, and for which he spent his whole life. And we pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thank you all for being here and have a good rest of the day.
the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. It is time for the rosary at the Saint Michael the Archangel. Those who are at home, please join us. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into <clears throat> death. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray for the gifts of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most need of thy mercy. The first luminous mystery, the baptism of Jesus in the Jordan. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most need of thy mercy. The second luminous ministry, mystery, miracle at the wedding of Cana. Jesus, bless our families with the children. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. 
the third luminous mystery, the proclamation of the kingdom of God. Let us offer this decade for an end to abortion. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the mother who has made the decision to have an abortion, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. For the father of this child being aborted, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For other family members of this baby being aborted, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. For the medical staff and doctors preparing and performing the abortion, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. For people who financially support abortion clinics, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For our priests to be inspired to talk from the pulpit about the importance of protecting life. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For people in the communities that work tirelessly to educate and protect life. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. For our government officials to stand up for life and for protection of the Hyde Amendment. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. For Roe versus Wade to be overturned, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. For the baby that never got to have a life. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth luminous mystery, the transfiguration. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most need of thy mercy. The fifth luminous mystery, the institution of the Holy Eucharist at the Last Supper. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have most need of your mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O oh most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgin, our Mother. To you do we come, before you we kneel, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer us. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who roam about the world, seeking the ruin of the soul. Amen. The most sacred heart of Jesus have mercy on us. The most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. The most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. The Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. A prayer to Saint Joseph. O oh, Saint Joseph, you provided a secure and loving home for Jesus and Mary and gave us a model of fatherhood while showing us the dignity of work. We entrust our family to you. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, pray for us. A prayer for priests. O oh Lord Jesus Christ, great high priest, send your Holy Spirit to enlighten our priests to be a model of purity possessor of wisdom, and a hero of sacrifice, steeped in humility and aflame with love for God and man. Bless him with zealous ministry in the confessional. In times of weakness, send him your spirit, and by the same Holy Spirit, put your words in his lips 
and your love in their hearts to bring good news to the poor and healing to the brokenhearted. Amen. Please join us for the Divine Mercy Chaplet. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the mercy, an ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, and was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood, the soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, an atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood, the soul and the divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his most sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood, the soul and the divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. For our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his most sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood, the soul and the divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. This final decade of the divine mercy let us offer our hearts and prayers to the people of India who are suffering severely from COVID, and especially for the children who are starving to death throughout the world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood, the soul and the divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we nor become despondent but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which love and mercy itself. Amen. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you for being with us today.